Hello, this is a quick unboxing and review of the Jepson hand-free car kick FM transmitter. It is for music and also for talking. In the back, you have some information. You have an input voltage between 9 to 26 volt, uh, power consumption of 1 watt. It will play MP3 and WMA format. We will go ahead and open the device. Inside, you have a little small booklet menu written in English. In various languages, very small text. You have the actual device itself. You have a auxiliary cable, and finally you have a remote control. Let's take a look at the remote control itself first. You have a phone button. You have a call, and you have a hang-up channel. Is for changing the different frequency in which the device will transmit to in FM. Uh, you have equalizer, which uh, I read in the menu, it didn't really tell you what type of equalizer it has, but it will switch between various different ones. And you have your typical playback button, volume up and volume down, and then you have your button to switch song and also to dial a phone number. Let's take a look at the unit itself. So, this is the Model 610S. I'll go ahead and peel the sticker off it. On top here you have the playback and navigation button. You have stop and play. You have volume up and volume down and left. Uh, rewind and forward. You also have your hang up and your call button here and in the back you have a micro SD slot and a USB port for plugging in various devices and on your side you have the auxiliary output. I want to demonstrate how to use the music and talk device. Uh, currently I have it plugged in uh, into my cigarette lighter and my car is currently on AC mode and I have the auxiliary input here there's also a station being set as 87.9 and all I have to do is basically put in a USB stick and you can see the song starting to play there's a little bit of information on here there's the volume uh, what EQ is currently set on there's 4 EQ mode uh, basically you have rock, normal, pop and classical currently it's on normal you also have the file number is currently playing 225 and it's in using the USB port. Uh, so right now this is using the auxiliary. All I have to do is switch to the 87.9 station and I can also get that on radio. So it kind of give you an idea. Switch to my radio. You see now it's on 87 and I'm using the radio output. And you can notice a small slightly volume difference. This is more clear and more um, precise using the auxiliary input and it's a lot more better quality. You can see here I have it pause and you can use the remote control to resume for example. You hear a beep every time I change something. You can change the folder by just holding down the fast forward button for example. Take you to folder 2. And you can switch between songs by just pressing the button. Uh, right here you also have the forward and rewind button. You cannot use that to change folder. There's up and down which is hard to see here. But up and down cannot be used to change volume. Uh, vo to do volume you hold out a fast and forward rewind. Up and down will actually change the FM transmitting station. Uh, by the way the FM transmitting station you can change it to any station you want. Within 87 all the way up to 107. So you have a lot of range you can pick from. Currently it's playing music from the USB stick. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and swap it for an SD card. You can actually leave both on there, but I just take that one out and it will play. There's a priority, a priority where it play. You see, it will automatically play right away. And you take it out, for example, and you push it back in. It will continue resuming from the last spot if the song is still there, of course, on the card. Currently the device is off. If I give it power, like, like every time you turn on your car, it will automatically play and resume the song. Uh, I was having some hard time with this. Uh, the USB stick I have here, there must be some problem with it because sometimes I have it in and I turn on my car, it won't play. Sometimes it forced me to unplug and replug. But with the SD card, I didn't have any problem at all. Uh, one thing I like to point out is the SD card barely goes in the device, so a lot of it is sticking out as you can see. It barely goes in. Uh, which is a more an aesthetic thing. You know, I wish it go down a little bit deeper so that it doesn't stick out so much. Uh, the two call button here, there is a hang up and then a call. Uh, if a phone call come in, you can hang up. Uh, you can reject the call by pressing this button. If you're in the middle of a call, you can press this button to hang up. This button, basically, you can hold down to do a read down. So it's a typical Bluetooth functionality. It's a priority 
with which display device you play if you have a Bluetooth connection connect to it first it will play off that first then it will follow by the uh, come a USB flash and then finally the uh, the SD card so if you have uh, both these in it will play off the, the flash card before it play off the SD card so if you want to play off the SD card you have to take the flash card out basically one other thing I noticed based on a priority is that for example if you currently have this music playing and you block in your phone or your phone was in range and Bluetooth was on it will connect to it and it will automatically stop the music from playing so you can play from your phone but that's not what I want but that's just how it is because of the priority if you don't want that to happen all you have to do is basically don't let uh, turn your Bluetooth on your phone off so that doesn't happen I want to demonstrate the Bluetooth features right now on my phone this PT car kit R here you click on that and it will connect to the Bluetooth on the device itself now it show that it's connected all I have to do is just play a song for example and you can hear it being played. Another thing to notice, if you plug your iPhone cable into the phone, it will just charge your phone. It will not play any music. It doesn't support, uh, basically, iPhone connectivity. Overall, the Jepson Music & Talk uh, Model 610S is a really nice, solid MP3 player for your car. One thing that really surprised me about this MP3 player was that in the box, it say it only support MP3 and WMA format. However, when you read the menu inside, it also show that it support wave and also flock which is you know a really nice high uh, quality audio file or format uh, I tried some flock files some classical music on it and it sound perfect and I really like it in terms of quality using FM streaming is not the best thing in the world it works well but you know you're gonna lose some sound out so by using the auxiliary output that was a much better um, quality wise uh, I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any questions please let me know and as always stay tuned for future review. Thank you.